Welcome, my beautiful Pisces from around the world with a general reading for the Pisces tribe. Pisces, welcome to my table. The world is much a much smaller place, isn't it, in this space? I welcome you to this space today. Um, I'm not going to have the same general warnings that I usually do. I just would like to remind each and every one of you of your own personal strength, of your own will to change your own destiny, and of the power of your guidance team, your spiritual team, um, as as it walks, it walks beside you, Pisces, in your journey forward. Let's go ahead and get the story out for Pisces. Let's go ahead and get the story out for Pisces. What is the story of Pisces? What is the story of Pisces? What is the current energy for Pisces? What is the current energy for Pisces, please? Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces, please. Current energy for Pisces. Well, on the ground. Let's see how that landed. It is in the upright, my friends. Let me get it. This is how it landed, just like that. Let me fix my chair here. So you're the second reading I've done with um, the new tripod and the second reading, well, the second reading of the day. And this week I am using reversals. Um, it is harder for me to go into that energy, but um, we'll see how you guys like it. And um, maybe it just, it's just going to take some practice for me. I, I'm, I'm getting to sort of like it. So um, let's just carry on here. Current energy for Current energy for Pisces. All right. Let's look at what's coming in in the near future for Pisces. What's coming in in the near future for Pisces, please? What's coming in in the next seven to 10 days for Pisces? What will Pisces be connecting with? What will Pisces be connecting with? I see you in new action here, so I'm going to make this more action oriented. What will Pisces be connecting with in the future? What will Pisces be connecting with in the future, please? What will Pisces be connecting with in the future? What will Pisces be connecting with in the future, please? Pisces be connected with in the future. One more energy here. I know there's one more that's wanting to come out. There we go. All right, let's ask for guidance here. Asking for guidance. Asking for guidance. We have guidance. We have the future. Let's start at what you're what you're doing now, Pisces. All right, beautiful friends. Let's see what we have here. Well, we have a new opportunity here. We have new passion here. We have new action. Remember, the Ace of Wands is about new action, new fire, new passion. Something new has come in for you. It's here for this group of Pisces people. It's here. Something that you're really excited about with life could be could be new a new relationship could be new work could be new travels um, it could be a new um, you know you could have found out that your daughter is pregnant and you are going into action now and having things to do to help her you know it could be something like that something very simple um, there you have your you have you used to be worried about this whatever this was. And you're coming into a, a period of, of being more relaxed and at peace about whatever is taking taking off in your life. Taking off is the energy that I have. It's taking off. And you might have been worried about the beginning of it. You might have been worried about stepping into this. 
but something has happened here where you just are feeling much more peaceful about this for yourself. Um, you're sleeping better. You are managing your anxiety. You're learning to control your stress. And um, you, you're just having much more belief in yourself, much more belief in the power of self, in the power of your own capacities and in your own skills. And you're really starting to understand how truly strong you are, Pisces, how truly strong you are. We do have a five of swords here. So this tells me that um, there is some kind of a battle you're fighting and it's something that could cause you some confusion. Um, it is a battle of minds. So it could be the battle of ideas, the battle of ideology. Um, there could be some sort of manipulation that's going on here. But I think for you, Pisces, this could be um, something that you are battling within yourself, within your own way of thinking, within your own clarity. Um, this could be battling someone else. So you could have people here with their belief systems clashing. There could be a belief system that is clashing now or something where you ultimately feel um, like in the whole scheme of this, that this is for your own vitality. This is for your own future, for your own for your own well-being and there you are worried possibly of being selfish you are worried of being selfish in this battle because there's something kind of unnecessary about this battle that you're in um, but this is about selfish healthiness right this is about doing something for yourself for once instead of doing for others um, you know people don't like that people don't like that when we pull away and we start focusing our energy on ourselves it, lots of times there have been people around us in the past that, that have benefited by our focus, our intention of helping others. And when we start to focus on ourselves, start to focus on what we desire, on our own belief system, on our own passion for, for our own journey, um, that could, that can often cause others to come forward with, with surprising battles that you might not have even contemplated they, that they could be a possibility with a five of swords. But just a reminder, it's only a five, right? It's something that you can move through. The five next to the Ace of Wands, it's like nothing. Ace of Wands is powerful. You know that this is for you. This conflict that's going around you is somewhat petty or it's somewhat fast moving. It can cut, it can sting a little bit. It can sting the soul, right? It could confuse you just a little bit. But I like that you're coming excuse me, I like that you're coming into a more peaceful mindset here with the Nine of Swords in reverse. So I really feel like you're, you're getting some, you're getting some new momentum here and you're finding more peace with what you're doing. Um, you're moving through this conflict, understanding, understanding what it is. It doesn't mean that the conflict is going to go away. It does mean though that you're understanding why it's here. You're understanding your role in it and you understand that it's only a five energy, which means that um, it, it's going to be a, a, a more, it, it's a, it's a, it's not going to be a long drawn out, huge epic battle. It's just something that you're doing, um, as you're moving into this new opportunity for yourself. And it's a necessary kind of battle. It might feel silly, but if somebody's coming at you, um, with something that's not fair, it is at some point, I mean, we do have to fight sometimes and that fighting and, and, um, creating the pathway for ourselves sometimes um you know i'm just getting in my mind a picture of um making a path in a jungle and sometimes we do have to have something sharp that we can cut the thorns and the and the in the branches away so we can move through and that's kind of the image that that i'm getting here i'm not advocating for violence um but it is kind of creating a path for yourself and that creating of the path can um, create a little bit of conflict as we do that. Let's go ahead and look at the next seven to 10 days. As always, Pisces, um, we're all moving at different speeds. We're all moving through different depths of experiences. So some of us could take us a little bit longer, um, to move through this than, than others. So timing is, is a really weird, um, energy to be in, but we're looking at the next immediate time frame. Oh my gosh. We have the emperor in reverse make sure I have these energies here where you can see them. I know that the view is weird. It's slightly, um, I haven't got it set up all. It, the view is going to be 
weird as we, you know, as we move from one side of the view to the other, but I don't think you care. So let's go ahead and get these cards down. Two sixes. Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse, the Ten of Wands in the upright. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Knave, um, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, let me get into these energies. Well, for most of you, this Emperor in reverse, let me fix my chair just one second here. I'm just getting comfortable. I'm sitting back. So this is what I'm doing. I'm sitting back. I'm folding my arms across my chest and I'm looking at this because um, there's some sort of energy of sitting back and looking, sitting back and looking at the situation. That's what you're going to be doing. That's what they just had me do, sitting back and looking at it. There's something here that you're working through. There is a situation that has been in control, a person who has been in control, a situation, a disease. Something here has been in control of your life, a job, a company. It's an emperor energy. So it's an emperor. It's the energy of control. Oftentimes it can be a person, but it can also be a community. It's an energy around something, an energy around a community, an energy around a person, a workplace. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be, and it's probably not an Aries, right? Could be, but it's probably not. And you have the Ten of Wands, which is, see, I am acting so weird. I wish you could see me in a way. I'm sitting back, I'm looking at this, and I always rock when I read. You know, you guys that follow me always know that I rock when I read. It's when I channel. So I'm sitting here, I'm folding my arms, and my, my thumb and my first finger is on my chin, and I'm just, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're going to be doing. It's like you're contemplating how are you going to break from this control? How are you going to break? How are you going to manage to get yourself out of this um out of this situation that is controlling you and not allowing you to live in the way that you need to live because you're overburdened. You have the Ten of Wands and it's in the upright. So that tells me that you're seeing the truth of the situation. Somebody is in control of your life and you're not happy with that. It could be um, a condition. It could be a some sort of disorder you have or you could you could even have some sort of trauma from the past that's controlling you. It could be an addiction that's controlling you. Something is controlling you here. Now, it's the emperor. It's not the devil. So I think it's something, Pisces, that it's, it's just something that you yourself need to take your own control, right? Somebody else or some other situation has the control, and therefore your life is quite weighted down with, with activities and functions and tasks and um, jobs and, del and and duties that you didn't choose, that you don't want anymore. You don't want it anymore. You're done with this. You're done with this situation. And um, you're working now, you're deliberating on how you're going to gain control back and put the control back in your own hands. Um, you have the Six of Cups in reverse, which tells me that there is a soul connection here. Now, a soul connection can be with anything. It can be with another person, like a soulmate. It can be with a lover. It can be with a friend. It can be with a community. It can be with a whole group of people. Um, it can be with a country, right? You can take this energy and move it all the way up to the leaders. It can be with a country, but something about this connection is quite deep with you. It's deep. It's something that goes into your soul, into the roots of who you are, into the blood, into the DNA of who you are. All right, so... Um, it's something that you feel very passionate about and it's part of your healing. Um, you won't feel whole and you won't feel alive until this has been rectified, whatever this is. With the Six of Cups. Again, there's a very slow energy, Pisces. It's very 
Pisces, it's not the normal energy that I feel when I'm with you. It's beautiful, and I always can connect with you really well. But it's this energy of quiet, almost like a grandpa-type energy. Like a grandpa-type energy. Like, okay, I am in the Six of Cups, and there is a grandmother there. It's almost like... It's the grandmother energy, but it's a masculine. It's, it's an energy that's ready to take action, but it's full of wisdom and quiet contemplation. So you've learned quite a lot. Um, you've learned quite a lot. You've been in the hermit energy before. You've found wisdom. So you're quite learned at this point. You, you know. I don't see any swords here. So you know. Were there swords? Five of swords. You know. Th this has been clear to you now. So you're, you're not finding clarity here. You're only, it's like, it's like this whole next week and a half is, is the two of wands. <laughs> That's what it is, you guys. But, but there's about, it's about contemplation. Contemplation on how you actually do this. You're not re really wanting to make a move until you do, oh, there's the make a move. So as I'm doing readings, now that you can see the cards, um, I, when I read, I'll go into one card and then I'll move to the next card and then I'll move to the next card. Um, now, sometimes the, the energies group, but I'm not reading that way now because I don't have as big as an area as I did before. So I'm reading from card to card. Now I move down to the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is here. All right. So you're, you're, you're thinking about how you're going to make an entrance. You're going to make an entrance into some, you're going to, there's something here that you are changing, Pisces, but you're not willing to step out in that uniform in that way until you know exactly what you're going to do. Okay, this is very, um, Pisces, you, um, what is this energy? This is, this is like your own emperor energy. This, you're, you're taking away control from somebody and you're bringing control into your own hands. And it's the emperor energy. This is exactly how the emperor works. Okay. He doesn't make unnecessary moves. He, he, he is very careful with what he does, but he means business. And if there's anybody who can change a situation, who can bring in abundance, who can bring in success in a very controlled way, it's the emperor. Okay. Now the emperor can also be as destructive, as debilitating, as devastation, as devastating as he can be in manifesting. So the emperor energy right now um, is out of your hands and it feels quite overwhelming to you. You understand it. You, do, you have clarity around it. It's not that part of it doesn't necessarily bother you anymore because you found the clarity. Now you're just trying to figure out it's almost like we're, it's almost like you're working through the emotions of this. Maybe you have already worked through the emotions of this, um, because you're ready to begin taking action. I don't think you're, you're going to be taking action in the next week or so, but I think you're developing your plan of how you're going to take back your own life, how you're going to take back your own future here, and how exactly are you going to move out into this community, into this workplace, into your family in a different way, wearing a different uniform. But this is a six of wands. So I have to remind you, this is a very positive energy. So you're stepping into a very powerful place. Whether you know it or not, Pisces, you will be seen. You will be recognized and you will be respected for your, the changes that you're doing. Six of wands is a beautiful energy. You just haven't got to the place yet where you can actually move into that energy. You're working on it. It's here. It's something you're developing. It's just not quite here yet. Not quite here yet. Also, the Page of Wands is in reverse. Um, the Page of Wands is a beautiful energy of youthfulness, of new passion, of um, chemistry and charisma. So there's something about this. When you gain your control back of your life and of your destiny, it is going to bring in a new, beautiful, youthful passion in you. And this will be seen. I love that it's next to the Six of Cups. This tells me that um, this is something that's vital for your future, vital for your future health. It tells me that you're going to find healing in this, this change that you're making. It tells me that's going to connect you into Gaia, into Mother Earth, into your family lineage. It's going to connect you in with your spiritual team in a much more profound way. It is part of your soul. It is part of your soul path. It is part of your soul growth. And this is something that 
in a way is, is part of your transitionary period, um, a, a very powerful year that we're all re very much looking forward to, but it, we're, we're all now starting to realize that the, this is a, this is a, an era, a stage, a, a phase of major transfer, transformation for many people. Um, as, as we all transform ourselves into much more individually strong, um, stronger souls is what we're doing. We're, we're, ex we're going through a major expansion. Most of us are. In fact, I think all of us are. So, this is a week of contemplation, a week of scheming. Let's let's bring the shadow in because there's a shadow aspect here and the shadow is part of our strength. The shadow is part of our success. So there is a little bit of a shadow element here. There's scheming. Um, there is contemplation. There is being street smart. Um, there is a little bit of a expansion on what we feel are within our own standards and ethics. Um, make sure that you continue to connect in with your spiritual team as you develop these, um, these strategies. So in other words, um, meditation is always good. Alignment work is good. Um, finding peace and quiet and really allowing yourself to, um, stop the movement, stop the motion so that you can make sure that you, your soul is at peace with what you're doing. But ultimately here, you know, that, um, there is action that needs to be taken and you're developing a plan for how you're going to do that in the, in the time to come. You could even be thinking, okay, I'm in this situation. I'm not happy with this situation. This situation is depleting me. I have to end it. I have to take my own destiny into my own control. What, how am I going to do that? What's phase one, phase two, and phase three? How am I going to implement phase one? How am I going to implement phase two? And how am I going to implement phase three? You know, something like that. It's it's very rational, but it's passionate. It's passionate. It's like the calm before the storm is how I'm feeling it, how I'm feeling about it. Okay, now let's look at guidance. Looking at guidance. Looking at guidance. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Beautiful. Three of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands in the upright. So again, it's passionate. It's passionate energy. It's fiery energy. But um, you have a new reality here. It's it's showing up. It's showing up. They're saying that you have a new beautiful future, and it's not a pipe dream. It's not a it's not a desire. It's a reality that's here for you. It's just not here yet. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. The energy is here. It's beautiful. So you're working to connect in with this. You're working to understand it. Um, you're working to develop what is a beautiful new reality for you. So you're working on manifesting it. Um, you're create, you're starting the process of you've already figured out what your contrast is. You've already figured out what you don't like about the situation. And now you're working to, um, begin the process of extricating yourself from whatever the situation is. And they're saying, be optimistic, have the energy of success around you. Um, make sure that when you're dreaming of this and thinking of this, that your thoughts are going in an abundant direction instead of a lack perspective. So um, if you have some time and if you feel the calling, um, look into how you can change your perception or your perspective from a lack perspective to an abundant perspective, because there is a difference in the energy, um, just like the words hope and am. Okay, so the word hope and the word am, A-M, are, are different words, but they can be the same thing. Um, this is a little bit deeper energy, but the word hope sometimes is a, a, the word of lack, okay? Um, this was kind of a hard lesson for me to understand in my life, but the word hope is, is, is symbolizing and is putting an energy on the word that it is not here. It is not here, but I have hope that it will be here, right? So what does the energy of that word signify? It signifies that it is not here. The word am, I am prosperous, I am free, I am abundant, is a word that's saying it's here. Now it might not be in here in reality, but it's necessary sometimes when we manifest to put our energetic space, 
to put our energetic being in the place of already in reception, already in receiving of it. And so when you're working to manifest, when you're working to imagine, and when you're working to bring in a beautiful new reality that we see is actually here in your future, it is necessary to always stay in the energy of abundance, in the energy of I am, in the beingness of the moment, instead of acknowledging the lack of it. Because yes, hope is optimistic, but it is the energy of not having it. So, um, and I'm not saying to not be hopeful. I am saying that hope is a word that is a meaningful word. Um, but when we use it for our own personal manifestations, it can actually cause a slowness in the manifestation. Okay, so it's, it's kind of a more denser energy, but I hope you're understanding that. Um, we do have the Eight of Wands here, which is talking about um, the, the energy of passion, the energy of taking action, stepping forward. So the guidance is at some point here, um, we are going to have to start taking actions um, we are going to have to start making decisions and communicating. Um, the Eight of Wands is, is about taking action, communicating. It's about busyness. It's about stepping forward. You might have lots of different ways you can do it. You might have a lot of different things you can do. And sometimes when you're in a, in a more tired energy, um, it's really hard to think about all of the steps, all of the processes that it will take for you to extricate yourself. And what that tells me is, um, with, the, with the guidance of the Eight of Wands, it tells me that there might be um, a need for you to take a rest. Uh, sometimes when we're feeling depleted, we're feeling exhausted. Um, when all we can do is go to work, fulfill our job, fulfill other people's jobs too while we're there. This is kind of an energy because remember you have the Ten of Wands. Come home and, and cook a halfway healthy meal and go to bed. When we're in that exhausted energy, it's really hard to think about making big changes in our lives. So if you're feeling that exhausted energy, it is a requirement to rest. We must rest. All powerful soldiers, all the powerful warriors in the world have found time to rest. It is part of the process of finding freedom, is sleeping, is resting, is in rejuvenation of the body, the mind, and the soul. So there might need to be some rest here. Um, and some revitalization before you can step forward into this new change that you're working to bring in. Okay, Pisces, I am going to dig into the extended now. Um, I'm going to be going down rabbit holes um, this, this week. Rabbit holes to me are deep, deep within a situation. So it's digging deep into something, investigating something as far down as we can investigate. Um, that's what a rabbit hole is to me. So I'll be going down some rabbit holes. I'm going to go down this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I am going to go down the Eight of Wands. Um, let me see here. I am going to go down the Six of Wands energy too, this new uniform. Um, and I think, oh, now we have this. Well, you already are going to, you already know what this new action is. I'm not going to go down. This, this is happening currently. So, sorry, I remember I have less space to work in. Um, I'm not going to go down the Ace of Wands because we, we only have so much time and you're already in this energy. So I want, I'm looking into the future now. Um, well, I'll, I'll go a little, I'm not going to go down a rabbit hole, but maybe I'll clarify it just, you know what, why don't I clarify it right now? I'm going to clarify it right now, this Ace of Wands. Tell us more about this Ace of Wands. Tell us more about this Ace of Wands here. Tell us more about the Ace of Wands. Isn't this interesting how these two cards line up with the two ones? Tell us more about this Ace of Wands. Tell us more about the Ace of Wands, please. Page of Cups. Something new is coming in here. A new introduction, a new job, something that inspires you. It's on the way in here with the Page of Cups. You could be just in the beginning of it. A message has come in that really inspires you. A new introduction of a new person that really um, fills your heart in a way um, that, that just warms your heart. This is a message of love, an introduction of new love, uh, a new inspiration, new intuition. Um, it's an energy of emotion, an energy of the love emotion. doesn't have to be a new lover, but it can. it, it is an energy that, in, that fills your heart with warmth, um, warmth and love. And, it, and it's a message or it's a new indication or just an introduction here. 
the chariot. It's coming. There's more of it coming. See, there's more of it on its way with the chariot and the page of cups. This is exciting. All right, so we have the chariot and the page of cups. More of it on the way here. More of it on the way. It's coming in directly. All right, and I think you're feeling that energy. One more card just for the fun of it. Whew, what is this? Queen of Cups. That's you. Energy of love, self, self-awareness, self, self-care. Could be a partner here. Very loving person, very compassionate person, very intuitive. I think that's that's where you are now, Pisces. This could be you here. Pisces energy, Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's no more energy. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move into the extended. I'm going to go down some rabbit holes. I'm going to investigate these um, very thoroughly, and then we'll look at the people around you and their intentions. So we're going to go down some rabbit holes, and then we'll look at the people around you and their intentions. All right, Pisces, it's always fun to read for you. Thank you for my thank you, my beautiful friends, and I hope you like this new um, this new layout that we have. I hope that it's working good for you. All right, thank you very much. Bye.